I like to keep my camera up on a tripod as much as I can so it doesn't wiggly wobbly all around you know the more I use my video camera the better I get when I'm holding it so hopefully you don't get dizzy when I'm moving it around by hand okay I'm gonna flush this I'm gonna keep my eyes open here First off, I know I need to shorten that flapper valve. Yeah, that's for sure. Looking at that, you just have to make sure it's all fitting in there properly, which it looks like it is. And you know, I think it was up higher, like how I had it hooked the first time. I'm going to readjust that by the chain and see. I'm trying to get inventive with my tripod. I got it at all different types of angles, sitting on top of the toilet seat and stuff, because I wanted to show you the flapper valve, what happens with that. Now, I'm going to flush this normal. Watch, it doesn't come up very high. See that? Now, let go. And it goes straight back down. Now that's not supposed to happen. I'm looking at this, making sure I got it proper. Now see, I'd, I'd like to get that up higher. See, like that. Because what happens is when I flush it, and it only goes like this, and I let go, it plops right back down. It doesn't have enough water there. You see, I got to get this up higher. You know what I mean? And it looks like it's all... I'm going to make sure that it's all in its notch properly. And it is. It just seems like it should swivel up higher. And that's why I have to adjust the chain. Because if I can get the chain up like that, then when the... And the rest of the water is trying to go down the drain. It's going to stay up longer before it, before it plops back down. And then more water will go down on every flush. You see what I mean? Okay, so I'm going to have to adjust the chain. See if I can't get that up higher. Now I've got this readjusted now. I think that's where it was on top like that, not on the bottom. That raised it up a little bit. But you know what I'm thinking? I'm not sure. Remember that rubber gasket that I put in? It was a little bit thicker than the, than the other old one that was in there, which means this is higher up to the chain. So that would have dropped down a little bit lower. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust the chain right up here, up a couple rungs, I think, what I need to do, so I can get that flapper up higher. Now see this float? On lots of chains, you don't have that float. That's just... You know, something they decided to do, and, and see that float was up too high, so I had to take the, the little rubber deals and kind of pull those down, then I could move that down a little bit. So remember, I only had about two rungs of chain here. Okay, so I'm going to make this shorter. I just take that and kind of push up there, right? And I got to take that off. Now I'm going to put it down a little bit lower. About three, let's say. We hook that like that. You see? Now I can put it back on here where it was before. See how much higher that goes? Look at that. That's, I think, about what you want. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna let this fill up with water again. Get right back to you. We'll try another flush. This just happens to be one more part of the entire project. Making the adjustments. You've always got to make adjustments you know, when you get done with your project. 
Sometimes you don't, but it's still a good idea to check everything out. That's why we're going through the whole steps. Had you not done that, you might have said, oh, you know, the, the flush handle works. You just have to hold down on it and, and, and do that each time you, you want to flush the toilet. Nobody wants to do that. You know, just get it done right. And uh, then you don't have to explain anything to anybody. Okay, now all I should do is flush the handle and let go of it just like a normal flush. Hey, look at that. Something. This flapper. I wonder, I wonder if this flapper has always done that. You know what I mean? It's, it's certainly not supposed to go that easily back down like that. I'm going to have to check that out a little bit more. That's what I say. Before I took this toilet all apart, before I disconnected the tank and all that, I probably should have taken a few extra flushes, made sure that the, uh, the existing flapper was working properly. Because had it not been, I could have gotten a new flapper, or at least I would have known. Okay, at least it was like that before I started. And uh, I could tell somebody about it that, hey, that needs to be replaced or uh, replace it myself. You know, that's always a good idea. Get in the habit of, of checking things out before you take it apart. Bad Joe, my loss is your gain. You know what I'm going to try? Like I say, most chains don't have this little yellow float on here okay but look how high the float is when I flushed that it was already out of the water so I'm gonna reposition that down lower on the chain so that when I flush it this will help hold the flapper up at the bottom does that make sense I think that's what it is on this particular mechanism. I don't know why they have that, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and adjust that and see. Okay, I've got that float way down in the water this time. And I might even have to move it down further. I don't know if you can tell that uh, that's a lot further in the water than it was before. Let's see if that helps. No, it's still not doing it. I think I'm going to have to just um, put that, put this flap down even further. It's kind of hokey how that works. I'm going to try it. I'm certainly going to try it. You know, this should work way better than it is. You're getting some good bonus time on this toilet, let me tell you. Now, I lowered this down, but I think it's something else, and I think I can fix it, but, you know, like I say, most places, most flappers don't have this ball. It's just a foam ball, and what that does is when you flush, the flapper paddle comes up, and then the foam ball kind of holds it up longer to allow more water to go down in there. But on this particular flap, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a red ring that slid over this pipe, over the white pipe and went down. And that's part of the flapper valve. Do you see that? Kind of hard to see, but that, that is above these ears. And there's two ears, one, right there and one over on this side right over here and some have this ring and you put the ring down too the ring really doesn't do anything but i think this ring needs to be underneath those ears and whoever installed this didn't know that now another way you can do it is on both sides of that round ring there's a cut mark Guess I better pull that up and show you, okay?
in order to do that, I had to shut the water off so I can slide this up and show you what I'm talking about here. Boy, it's on there. Come on. Okay. You see that? Let's get you a better look here. See this ring here? That ring fits over this, over, over the pipe, over that pipe, and it slides down there. Well, you don't necessarily have to have this. Usually on these, if you get a ring, you might your, your pipe might not fit, it might be bigger or something. Well, on both sides of this, it says cut and cut. You can snip this out of there. You can cut it right there, and you can cut it right there and get rid of this. You don't really need that. Okay, now I could cut that, but let's see if I can't fix this the way it is. So I'm going to slide it down there, and where the prongs are, so you just hook the, hook, hook the little ears over the prongs down low on this pipe. Now I'm going to stretch this out of whack, you know, like a rubber band this way, and get underneath those ears, then hook this. Because what's happening is, this is only swiveling from right there, and it's not going up high enough. This whole thing needs to do this sort of business, see? Okay, so I'm going to slip this back down there and see if I can't get it. 